Hi everyone, welcome to this Maker Medic tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to manage a pneumothorax. So first of all, a pneumothorax is defined as air within the pleural space. So the pleura is a thin membrane that covers your lungs and essentially tethers it to the inside of your thoracic wall. And it forms somewhat of a vacuum seal. So when that gets compromised by an air leak, it leads to essentially the collapse of the lungs. So pneumothoraces can be defined as either being primary or secondary. And all that means is that primary occurs with no pre-existing lung disease, whereas secondary occurs due to the presence of some sort of pre-existing lung disease, such as COPD. So generally speaking, especially when it comes to exam questions, patients who have primary pneumothoraces tend to be tall and thin. Whereas, like I mentioned earlier, secondary pneumothoraces occur in the context of some other respiratory illness, such as COPD or interstitial lung disease. In terms of the investigations, it's quite simple. First thing you would do is get a chest x-ray. And then the management actually depends on both whether it's primary or secondary and on the chest x-ray findings. So in the case of a primary pneumothorax, if the pneumothorax is less than two centimeters in width, and there is no significant shortness of breath, then the patient may be able to be discharged with a follow-up chest x-ray to check for resolution. If, however, the pneumothorax is more than two centimeters in size, or the patient is quite short of breath, then a needle aspiration should be done. If the aspiration is ineffective, then a chest drain can be inserted. With a secondary pneumothorax, the management slightly differs. So even if it is less than two centimeters in size, it should be aspirated, whereas if it's more than two centimeters in size, a chest strain should be inserted. So first of all, we have a normal chest x-ray just to help orientate yourself. And here we have a pneumothorax, and you can see that the edge of the lung is visible away from the edge of the thorax, and there's a very dark sliver within the outside which doesn't contain any vascular markings. So remember that on an x-ray, air will appear black or very dark, so the presence of a very dark strip along the outside, along the peripheries of the film, would be suggestive of a pneumothorax.